Okay, my novel presentation is Bastard Out of Carolina by Dorothy Allison. And some things about Dorothy, her writing includes themes of class struggle, sexual abuse, and child abuse. Dorothy was an American writer, one of five finalists of the 1992 National Book Awards. Dorothy Allison has many awards for all of her novels, but was and still is today recognized for the book Bastard Out of Carolina. Who is Dorothy, we ask? Dorothy is born, was born in April 11, 1949 in Greenville, South Carolina, first child of an unwed mother who worked as a waitress. She now lives in California with her partner, Alex, and her son, Wolf Michael. So many sexual things happened to her when she was younger, which led her to writing. Bachelor out of Carolina book is very... The book is her story about the sexual things that happened to her as a child by her stepfather. The start of the novel. When Allison attended college, she was introduced as a feminist. She noted in New York Times book review, it gave her a vision of the world totally different from even everything she had ever assumed or hoped that con that concept of a feminist literature offered the possibility of pride and sexuality. She started writing seriously in 1980s. She published um, short novels and began her work on Bastard out of Carolina, frequently referred to as the third wave feminist. A lot of the novel is based on real experience, but not the entire thing. The characters are model of people in her family and stories she heard as she was growing up. Allison Bassett out of Carolina is considered an iconic text within the third wave feminist movement. Not only does it provide personal, a personalized and semi-autobiographical story, but it also addresses the issues of a female and a lesbian identified in a homo homophobic culture. When Bastard Out of Carolina was published, reviewers commended Allison for her realistic, unsentimental, and often humorous of her eccentric characters, and the novel was nominated for the National Book Award. What about Bastard Out of Carolina? It starts with the birth of Vaughn, who mother is Annie. In is a 15-year unwedded mother. Bone birth certificate was stamped illegitimate because she was born without a father and her mother was not married. During that time, your birth certificate was stamped with illegitimate because she wasn't married. Two years later, Annie has another baby. Baby number two, the father dies in a car accident, leaving Annie with two children. Years later, she met up with her soon-to-be husband, Glenn, who would eventually make her life and bond life very difficult. Annie becomes pregnant, loses the baby, and has and has the dad and Daddy Glenn starts to rape Bone at this time. He takes his father he takes his father and abuses and rapes her constantly due to his loss of job because he has a bad temper. A family member discovers the bru bruises on Bone, and Daddy Glenn gets the best beat down of his life by Bone's uncle and some of the uh, family members' cousins. Annie finds out about the abuse and vows to Bone to never go back to Glenn. Glenn finds out about the vow and comes to visit Bone at her aunt's house to tell her to convince Bone to let her mom come back with her. Bone refuses, and Daddy Glenn ends up raping Bone again, but this time he breaks her arm, and Annie walks in on the abuse. But during the abuse, after Annie and Bone walks out, Annie takes Daddy Glenn back right then and there, which Bone eventually stood up for herself after that and decided that she wouldn't go back with Daddy Glenn or Annie. As long as she was with Daddy Glenn. People who was involved, the main character was Glenn, Annie, and Bob. The style symbolized Bob birth certificate, 
Brown birth certificate is the primary symbol of the novel, which is Bastard out of Carolina. It was stamped with the word illegitimate. It describes the circumstances of Brown birth, which Annie managed to change at the end of the story. The theme will be child abuse and so-called love. The abuse all takes place while he is angry, but he still tells Bone over and over again, often while he is being he's beating her, how much he loves her. In conclusion, in her website she says, What I am here for is to tell you stories you may not want to hear. Young girl a young girl tries to make sense of her life with mom with after